Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Ingeborg, this channel's name is A Stitch Too Far. And I make videos about stitching. Um, I'm a week later than planned. Um, first of all, I haven't seen you yet, so everybody, I hope you have a great new year. I wish you all the best for this 2018. It's uh, January 20th today. I need to call my aunt, just remembered it's her birthday. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you had all had a good start to the year. We um, did have a good start, but then everything changed. Um, we had a loss in the family. Uh, one of my uncles passed away Friday last not this friday but last friday so a week ago uh, he had lung cancer and um, we knew it was coming but still it was suddenly everything happens very fast and so yeah we've been dealing with loss and grief and um, funeral and yeah not that fun then that's why i'm late with filming this because yeah, last weekend I just did my usual thing of hermiting and spending time with family and stitching. Um, uh, yeah, not well. Yeah, I don't know if you remember if you've been watching me longer than a few months. You might remember that last year around the same time we had uh, another person die around the same time of the same disease. So that also brought everything up again. And yeah. That made it extra hard to deal with, but yeah, we are all doing well and coping and it will just take time, I guess. But yeah, sorry to end on such a negative mood, so let's just quickly move on. Um, I've been stitching for three weeks now since last I saw you, so I've been working on a few projects and I did start uh, some new things which I will share with you and I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do it. Um, let's just go with what's handy. I worked a bit more on my hardanger, which I forgot to bring the pattern, but it's one from the booklet that uh, Laurie at Mischievous Stitches gave me. And I'm close to done, but not just quite, because I had a number 8 pearl cotton picked out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I finished all the, the border as well and all the surface stitching. And now all that remains is the cut work and I need a pearl number 8 for that and the one I picked out uh, I thought would match well, but in the end it didn't really match well, so I'm planning to go to my illness. Um, maybe today, if I don't have to wait for my mail to come the whole day. But yeah, if not, then next week and pick out a different color pearl for that and then I can finish it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is progressing and yeah, really enjoying I think the color is getting a bit washed out. It's a bit darker than this, but yeah, I really love this. Uh, so thank you again, Laurie, for the wonderful booklet. And then I had a new start recently, uh, which was a gift. And again, I thought I brought the pattern, but I didn't, so it's over there, so I'm not going to grab it, but it's the um, Coffee Saves Life pattern by Heartstring Samplery. I will put the information down below, as usual. Um, it's the gift that Amanda gave me, thank you very much, I'm really enjoying it, and it's the first one in the series. The second one is the Coffee Quaker, that everybody knows. Um, this one, I think, Michelle Farm Girl, you, you finished this last year, I think, and uh, I think, oh gosh, Yvonne, the Night Owl Stitcher, she said she had it in a whip pile, but yeah, 
wasn't enjoying it, so yeah. But this is my version as far as I've come. And this is stitched on uh, the uh, fabric by x Design on Etsy. Of course, I will link her shop below. It's looking a bit lighter than it is in real life, the fabric, but it's called Grandpa Sleeve, so it's really smudgy and with lots of tans and beige and gray. Love it. And I did adapt the design, so this is the top border and there should be an alphabet starting here, but I'm starting with the Coffee Saves Lives part. And because I want to show you what I did, I'm going to go and grab the pattern. I'm also waiting for my fabric of the month to arrive today, so that's why I keep glancing. <laughs> Every time I hear a car, I keep glancing over to the window. Um, but yeah, the, uh, so this is the design. And as you can see, this is the Coffee Saves Lives bit. And um, what I did is I made a few working copies and then I cut and paste so that I could drop this border down. And then I had to look and see how I could fit in the Coffee Saves Lives. And it turned out that I had to lose the bottom alphabet line as well to make it fit because of the border and how the it switches uh, the, the direction of the border switches. So I needed to, to, to lower it to a certain point to make it fit, which means I also lose the ABC on the bottom here, but that's okay by me. I know my ABCs, so yeah. So it's gonna be pretty small design about half of it but yeah pretty pleased and i just i just started it this week so just a couple of days of stitching on it and i made, i did some alterations in the in the threads as well because one of the threads i didn't have and the other one is in my tapestry so i wanted to use something else to make sure that i didn't mess up what I had for Tepsi. So I am actually using a thread by XU Design for the for the outer border and for the Coffee Saves Lies, uh, which is Wicca Basket, which does have quite a bit of irrigation and sometimes it's, it's uh, uh, quite light, but it's still easy to see when you look at it in daylight. So I'm gonna leave it and might outline the, the words with backstitching if I decide to, but yeah, for now I'm fine with it. So that's that one. And then I also worked on Takapuna Beach <coughs> by Character Creation. Yeah, Character Creations. This is based on an actual painting. Of, the, of that beach and I'm working in the diagonal method that Brian explained to us and this is where I got to so if you compare to the design you can see uh, here is the tree bit on over here so I'm about a third done and I hadn't had this in my rotation for quite a while and I must say that I really enjoyed picking it up again and now I'm really excited to do some more work on it in the near future and then the thing I started on the 1st of January so new year new start was of course the chat language I talked about so these are extra designs so it's only this design that I'm working on and I've been basically stitching borders, but oh my gosh, it was so nice. And again, I need something behind here. And this is just on a regular uh, antique white linen. And oh my gosh, those colors are beautiful. I love it. Those are really nice colors and 
Yeah, as you can see, I just started at the top and I'm working out the design where the two elephants fit in. When I started, I wasn't sure I was going to do it, but I decided to do them anyway. I might not fill in the background, but she does have suggestions on if you want to fill in the background or not, how you could approach that. And I'm going to wait with that and see how I feel about it. But for now, yeah, this is how far I got. Um, these are mainly silks and a little bit of treasure braid, but I don't think that is showing up. I have a picture on my Instagram where it is showing up a bit better. But yeah, we all know how it works with the videos and glittery things. So, um, then another thing. Two finishes. One I'm working to fully finish. This is... Uh, sweetheart tree let's get fancy fob it's supposed to be a scissors fob but I was looking through my designs to see if I could stitch something for my aunt um, who just lost her husband and see if I could find something sort of to help keep his memory alive and this is what I came up with and I'm making it into an ornament and I changed the colors to blues and I added a little heart instead of the bead. But yeah, that's this, this is I'm turning this into an ornament and I will be sending that to her. Hopefully next week. And then I finished something. I had my first <coughs> first finish of the year. I'm not gonna show this up close, but I am gonna show her name. Bees Needleworks on uh, internet she has a trying to see if there's a website on here but I will link her shop down below she does lots of um, specialty stitch designs and one that has been going the rounds now for a few years is tree of stitches which this is so I'm just going to show you from afar basically it's a, tr a tree design with all kind of specialty stitches um, that you can practice with and it's if you want to try out uh, if you and if you like specialty stitches I would definitely recommend checking out her website she has several designs which are relatively cheap and, and she gives good instructions um, I did uh, finish this I think last week or this week not sure and this is my interpretation she doesn't give you any suggestions for the color fabric or the color fibers. She just says, you know, go with what you like. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this is all the same green. The green in the tree is um, a dinky dyes. Oop. Uh, number 179 Bunya Cone which is a variegated green this is what I used and I used some other dinky dyes for the, the tree trunk I used uh, mud flats which is really dark with some gray in it brown I used for the owl I used cat's cat which has some really interesting coffee colors and I don't know, latte colors, I guess. And then for the little, uh, what's it called? Rabbit. I used uh, stingy, stringy bark, which is a light, lightly, uh, light brown with not that much variegation in it. But yeah. Um, Really enjoyed working on this. I did. Uh, sometimes she suggested that you could use uh, two strands for some of the leaves, but I decided to do everything in one strand. Um, and also that decided that uh, when I've already done it because I didn't read it and didn't notice it. <laughs> so basically, I just I just assumed everything was one strand. But yeah, I do like it this way. Uh, she has some suggestions also for some stitches to use more colors. And because I was using variegated, I didn't, didn't do that. 
I did really enjoy it. I left out, uh, there's a, there was supposed to be a little flower here, but yeah, I didn't think it was adding anything. So I just added the bunny and the owl. I really like those. Um, but yeah, this is my version. She just says, go with what you have, pick out colors you like and just go ahead and stitch it. And I really like that approach. And now I have to find, figure out what I'm going to do to finish it. I was thinking maybe an oval shaped frame would be nice. But yeah, we'll see. This is stitched on a Joblin by Witchelt. Summer Sky. Um, yeah, really nice. Nothing much to complain. Um, yeah, really liked it. Uh, so that's that. So that's everything I worked on. Um, I got something in the mail that I want to share because it came at the perfect time and I don't know about how we do this, but we tend to do this. Uh, this came from Adele, Adele Cat. Hi Adele. Um, we somehow seem to manage to send each other things when we most need it. And this came at the exact day that my uncle died. So yeah, that was really needed. Something to cheer me up. And it was so nice to get a card from you Adele with beautiful floss, which I was planning on using on something, but I changed my mind. I'm going to use this for the coffee Quaker. This is a beautiful Mill Hill silk that she sent me with beautiful light green. So yeah, I'm going to use that for that. And I was so, it was so nice to see, was that the mailman? No, no. It was so nice to see and that how well your handwriting is again. So yeah, that was lovely. Thank you very much for that. Um, and then, let's see, I just have some, uh, I'm, I'm out, I'm out of making videos. I, I'm, I'm losing the words, um, public service announcements. That's what I was looking for. So, um, we have some new floss tubers and some of the, or some of them I've been following on Instagram. And I wanted to mention them because I think they deserve uh, yeah, your attention. So the first one is uh, Saho in Japan. Uh, she is Saho Ch Dream Stitch on Instagram and I think also on her YouTube channel. I will link her below. Go check her out. She does lovely work and I think uh, she would really appreciate your support uh, in uh, having her, uh, giving her videos a look and we also have a new person from Switzerland and uh, he's also known on Instagram as Crescent Moon Maker I think and that's also his YouTube channel so Paolo in Basel. Hi Paolo, um, go check him out. Um, yeah as I said I was hoping uh, I might show you the fabric of the month from XU Designs the first shipping is out now and I'm expecting mine to come today if I still manage to get it in time for daylight I might film it and add it onto this video so you might have to check later on in the video if not then it will have to be uh, a surprise um, I will uh, if you if you are also a subscriber to fabric of the month I have the primitive version if you don't want to know I will definitely put in a warning just before I show the video so that you can decide if you want to, do, to be surprised or not. Um, yeah, and um, uh, we've been busy with the retreat. Um, we have uh, quite a few uh, people attending. There's still uh, some spots open, so if you're still interested, please contact me. Uh, the way I have my system now is that I, I, I can manage who has uh, sh shown interest and I can manage uh, who I send out requests for deposits so that I can manage that you don't, um, you can't uh, enter when there's no spaces left. Let's say it like that. I hope that makes sense. 
But yeah, so don't worry if you if you contact me, I will always let you know if there's still room and um, um, there is no real rush to uh, register, uh, but we need to know the amount of people to send in to uh, to let the hotel know by the end of January how many people we are expecting. If there's going to be a few more after that, that's fine. But I also need to make sure that we are in budget. So that's why it's also important for me to know by the end of January who is definitely going to be there. But that doesn't mean that you still can't show interest if you still want to come and you can't decide right now. So if you are interested, let me know. Send me an email. I will put the email address here where you can contact me. Uh, yeah, and hope to see you there. I'm really excited. I know some of the plus tubers that are coming have have mentioned it. So there are a few names out there that already that you know that are coming. Um, there are quite a few plus tubers coming, but there are also a lot of uh, non uh, video makers coming. So I'm really pleased that there's a good mix, as well as there's a mix of people from the Netherlands and from um, I think about four countries now. One, two, three, four, five. So five countries outside of the Netherlands are people attending. So yeah, that's really nice. I was really generally, uh, genuinely surprised at how many people are from abroad are showing interest. It's really appreciated and I hope to meet you all there. But yeah, and now I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. I had, um, I'm planning in the near future to uh, uh, do another Dutch a topic that will be more controversial so again I will warn you ahead of time that I will be talking about that but I didn't want to do it this now but it will it will be coming but yeah uh, for now I just wanted to share that we have had our own typical Dutch issues with water recently I live close to a river and there were many rivers in the Netherlands that were dealing with a lot of in income of a uh, lot of um, water from melted snow from the Alps and other places. So that's usually when we get higher uh, river water. And uh, I will insert a few clips showing you what that looked like. <laughs> because basically we've been working on reinforcing the dikes along the rivers and creating more room for the river if there's a high uh, water table. Don't know, I think that's for groundwater actually. So. I don't know the term, but if the river water is high, then they can flood over certain places and that's still okay. That people, uh, people's houses will be still dry. I hope you understood that. Um, I am, um, I'm going to say goodbye. I will probably see you again in two weeks. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the videos are coming here for the flooding and I will see you in two weeks. Happy stitching, stay healthy. And one last request, if you are a smoker, please, please, please consider stopping because it will kill you. Okay, bye guys.